So this engine runs about four minutes after I start it up after the intro so feel free to forward through the running part uh, about three minutes say and uh, that way it'll shorten your review time. And don't forget to keep your eyes open for the trailer for the movie McLaren uh, which is coming out uh, this year. Should be a good flick about uh, Bruce McLaren and Can-Am racing etc. So here we have the plastic piston for the Briggs and Stratton lawnmower. This is just uh, another one of my experimental uh, attempts here, similar to my wood piston crowns, etc. But you can see I've uh, cast a uh, piston here. It's basically uh, somewhat of a duplicate of the original uh, Briggs and Stratton piston. I uh, used a silicone uh, mold uh, with the original piston inside of it there. Actually, it was in this way, but had to make another piece here to uh, was inside like that, and then I I modified it a bit just to make better uh, release angles and things. So this goes inside the mold there, and uh, <clears throat> should have done it earlier, but at the end I I uh, whittled out the uh, the oil ring uh, groove there since I didn't think the piston wall was thick enough at that point. But anyway, uh, we'll uh, put this in an engine and try to fire it up. I thickened up the piston skirt wall here on the, the power thrust side. Um, so hopefully it doesn't like disintegrate and tear my engine block apart. But we shall soon find out here. Well, here the piston is uh, getting ready to be put in the engine. So next up will be the start up. So here's the plastic piston in operation. I guess we'll go on ahead here and cross over the Rubicon with it. Some high octane Dijon mustard in her there.
was surprisingly long, wasn't it? I'll tear it down and see what's left. Got some unexpected results here. The top piston ring is now in the cylinder head. The second ring, move the piston down. Basically, the piston has dissolved around it. Now the piston normally stuck about a quarter inch above the cylinder head. So you can see it's eaten well down into it there. But uh, I guess that kind of follows that it. it always eats it more on this side, on the wood uh, wood piston crowns also. So basically I think it came to a stop because uh, it had no uh, piston rings left moving or sealing. So it was just blowing it all into the crankcase. Well, I'll I'll show what's left of the piston here once I get it out. So here's what's left of the piston. The, uh, the top ring here showing uh, heat damage about a third of the way around it. It's sprung a little bit. Same thing with the secondary ring. Compression ring there. It's As you can see it's uh, sprung upwards. And there's just this uh, this little section here was all that was holding it in place by the time the engine was done running. So I'll go around the piston here show you. Uh, the other thing I noticed was that the skirt is not uh, parallel anymore. It, it's, it's narrower this way now. But I know if I can see it the sidewall of the piston skirt looks uh, kind of uh, bowed inwards on both sides. The piston pin retainer I figured out there worked, which is good. But anyway, that's uh, that's the remains of the uh, cast plastic uh, piston there. So. Uh, um, Smooth on Series 300 plastics, uh, pretty good stuff. Well, thanks for watching the vid. Have a good one.